Hey all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my worlds, the world away. We now got part 70 of Hashit Partworks build the battleship Bismarck. Very special issue this one. I know a lot of you are going to be like, what's so special about it? We're just doing another gun turret. Um, the reason it's special is because of that number, number 70. There's 140 uh, stages in this uh, collection, which means 70. We are now halfway, so uh, halfway through. Let me show you what we're going to do. Just bringing over the uh, superstructure deck here. As you can see, we're just missing one of the 15 centimeter guns now. We've got one on that side there, but obviously we need to fit the one this side. It's pretty much going to complete this whole section here. Uh, once the searchlight's been done and stuff, uh, we're going to start building this way. We do have the next bit of deck here, but in the next uh, episode, you'll see in a second, uh, stage 71, we're actually going to be going back to doing the keel. So let me show you what we are going to be doing. This is the uh, cover here. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be putting some platforms on the housing of the gun there. And then once again, we're going to be putting the turret in, putting the housing onto the deck, attaching a cog and a switch. So uh, all ready for a motor to be put in later on. Now, we're not putting the motor in in this issue. Uh, in fact, the next issue, as I said, we're going to be doing a little bit of the kill here. So uh, that's all we're doing. Now, I haven't got the next four issues yet, but I am expecting them pretty much either this week or early next week. And that'll be the next four issues, which will be 71, 72, 73 and 74. So as soon as they come, we can get cracking on this. But right this second, I've got my screwdriver. Let's get cracking on this one. So before I start, I'm just going to put some of my glue, which I'm running out of. I'm very conscious I'm running out of it, actually. Uh, but my local range, where I get these from, are out of stock at the moment. So the glue is still lasting. I've just put some just in that cavity of the box there. Uh, because what we're going to need to do is take the housing from the turret, which I'm just getting out here, looking just like that. And we need the two platforms to go either side. Now, this is where it's handy uh, to have... A trusty pair of uh, tweezers for you just to help you get them out and we just need to line these up with these lugs that we've got either side here and here so quite simply these are going to go on this way I'll just put them on very gently and not secured in just so you can see how they go but that's how they're going to be going when they're stuck into place so we just need to put some glue on them so what I'm going to do I think is I'm going to put some glue just into the cavities here using my pin vice and once again i know people are gonna shout at me i've actually put my glue on my opposite side rather than my right side i just can't get on with it on my right hand side i don't know why that is i'd rather cross my arms to get to the glue which is i know it's weird <laughs> that's the sort of person i am and then we'll just glue that into place so that's the first one in there and you see the glue sticks really very well and first time do the same on the other one here so a little bit of glue just inside here doesn't need too much that's why i'm applying it with a pin vise here just with a normal haberdashery pin in there haberdashery pin dressmaking pin i don't know what you want to call them <laughs> but there we go and that's the second platform in just like that now they're actually calling these rangefinder hoods there's me calling them platforms but they're rangefinder hoods uh next thing we're going to do we're going to start putting the turrets in so just like last time these are the turrets here we just put them through like that making sure that they're seated on the hinges or the fulcrums that we've got at the back there and we obviously need to keep this all in place so we've got the housing to put on top of this the housing has got these sections here which are going to pin that turret into place just like this when i put it down and then we need to secure this in with one screw just into that area here and that screw is a two times five mil screw and you can identify that because there's two of these screws in the bag we're only going to need one of them so i'm going to load this up that screw looks just like that and we'll put it in the hole there and screw this together and then when that's all the way in and tight we should be able to move these quite freely without them flopping down so that's the turrets in now I'm going to bring the superstructure deck over and I'm going to take off the main section here because I'm just interested into the section at the bottom. Now as you can see at the bottom of all of these wires here, I have put them all together with cable ties. It just keeps everything tidy and in one place. So I put that to one side. We're going to be interested in just this section here. So what we do, just put the last one in there. I'm going to turn it upside down because we're now going to be working on the other side of this. Now this is where we need the cog section like this. And once again, you've got three screw holes here, but we've got one little notch there, which is gonna match the notch that we've just got on the gun just there. 
So I'll put this all lined up just like that. And then we want to secure this in place with 1.7 by six mil screws, which I've just got here. Now we only need three of these. And once again, they provided four of them. I've managed to get one. I've got two of them out, that's handy. Because uh, I am holding this with my other hand to stop it falling onto the surface here. So. so I've got that here. I'll get the first one in. And then once we've got a few of these in, I'm not going to put them in all the way. I should be able to let it go just like that. Still make sure it's lined up correctly, which it is. Here's the second one. Just into place. And this time I'm going to make sure that's really tight. So we've got two in tight, which means when I put the third one in, it's going to hold itself there. And there we go, that's the third one in. So now that's into place. Now the last thing we need is the switch, which looks just like this. And once again, we're going to be putting one of the labels on it so we know what switch this is this one says b1 so we'll take that off and we put this around the plug end just like this it doesn't have to be too neat just enough that you can identify this when it's hanging out the bottom of the vehicle now the switch is actually going to be going in uh, with the white side facing down but it's going to be in between into this section here it's going to be in between these two sections here so the switch is going to be able to operate when that turns just like that. So I'm going to leave that kind of like that, which is mirroring pretty much how the angle is on the other side. Uh, and we need to fix this into place just with a screw here. And that's just a PWB screw, which is just one of the screws with a flange. They've provided two. We only need one for this. So this is a nice quick one to put in. And that will hold that into place, which means the only thing we've got left to put in there will be the motor. On this side here that's nice and tight so I'll show you what that looks like on the other side now these are pretty much at the mercy of the motors that's why I can't turn them because we haven't connected the motor to this it's still free to turn around there uh, but I'll be coming in a future episode so now we've got that all into place I wanted to put this up here so my size can give you an idea of how big this thing actually is uh, obviously the superstructure deck is not attached to this deck at this time but if I spin that round you get an idea of how that looks but uh, I think for my thumbnail I'm going to do an overhead shot so you can actually see each one of these 15 centimeter guns uh, but that's all there is to do in that stage I really do enjoy this build but this is going to be a monster of a size it's like halfway done so far um, and it's not going to fit on that shelf that's the reason why it's not going in the man cave when it's finished it'll be going just outside that door there where I've got a large bookcase which is going to sit on top of which I'll show you when I actually get around to mounting that but anyway I really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe tonight I'm going to be doing the next two stages of the Ecto-1 on my live stream so be sure to check in at eight o'clock other than that Take care.